it's our friend Xenon! Mm. Hi, Ruthenium, Uranium, and, um, your many, many friends. Yeah, I'm popular. Say, Xenon, why are you being such a downer and hanging out all alone when there's a party going on at the picnic tables? Well, I like my me time, and I love to read. Ooh, a book? I've heard of those. What makes it so much better than hanging with your friends, Xenon? Let me see that thing. Fascinating Secrets of the Periodic Table. Holy cow, Hydrogen! You're in here! Yeah, well, you know, I'm number one on the periodic table, so it makes sense someone would write a book about me. Hey, wait a minute. It's not just you, Hydro. Sodium is in here. <laughs> and calcium. And aluminum. And all my best buds. And, whoa, even me, I'm famous. Not me. Yeah, at the end, like a footnote, because you're not very important. <laughs> that book sounds like a spy novel. She's spying on us. No, it's just... I'm a group 8A element, which makes me kind of a loner. Yeah, we love you, Xenon, but you've always been a little aloof. I have a four-valent shell, eight electrons. There's no room for more, so I typically don't bond to form compounds or molecules. What you talking about, loner chick? What are valence electrons? Hydro, it makes sense you don't know that because hydrogen has only one electron. That's it. No inner electrons, so since valence electrons are outer electrons, your one and only electron is your valence electron. But you're a rule breaker, Hydro. All other elements in group 1A of the periodic table have only one valence electron as well. But they also have inner electron shells. And unlike you, a gas, the others are all highly reactive, sometimes volatile, alkali metals. <laughs> like sodium over there, that crazy dude can't even get the letters on his belly right. Well, sodium's atomic symbol is Na. It's a Latin-based symbol, which may not make sense to those of us who speak English, but... He doesn't really speak much of anything. <laughs> I'm confused, Xenon. I don't see any shells on sodium. Yuri, shells are layers of electrons. Sodium is atomic number 11, which means he has 11 electrons total. Two of those are in his inner shell, sometimes called an orbital. Sodium's next eight electrons are in his second orbital. But he's a period three element, so, like hydrogen, he has one valence electron but a different period. Uh, period? Here's our friend calcium, a group 2A, period four metal. As you can see, she's in the second column or group of the periodic table, which means she has two valence electrons, and she's four periods down. The first three periods mean she has three inner electron shells. Like all of us, except our rule breaker friend Hydro, she has a small inner shell where two electrons orbit, two shells with eight electrons each, and then her fourth shell holds her two valence electrons. By the way, Group 2 comprises the alkaline earth metals, also sometimes volatile, but not as much as Group 1. <laughs> yeah, Cal, you are a little moody. So, I'm in row 3. Period 3, aluminum, yes. And column 3, I mean Group 3A, so that means I have three shells total. And the third one, the outer orbital, has three electrons? That's correct. But be careful. Some versions of the periodic table refer to your group as 13. In this case, we subtract 10 to get the number of valence electrons. Carbon here, for example, is in group 4A, also known as group 14. Either way, I have four valence electrons. That's right, Carbon. And nitrogen has five valence electrons, and so on. I'm here in group 8A, also known as group 18, the noble inert gases. Inert means you're a loner chick, right? Right. 
The number of valence electrons explains how atomic bonds are formed, and group 8A doesn't form bonds. That's in the sequel to this book. Xenon, where am I in your book? You're down here, uranium, toward the bottom. You share similarities with these elements in the middle, but you have some unusual properties. So you're pulled out of the periodic table and placed in a separate category with the lanthanides and radioactive actinides. Together, you comprise the F-block. Where am I? And how many valence electrons do I have? Ruthenium, you're here in the D-block. And, like your brother, you are transition metal. Those of you in the D-block are rebels. You don't follow the octet rule. Yeah, rebels. <laughs> What's the octet rule? The rule of eight. With most elements, the maximum number of valence electrons is eight. But with transition elements, they don't always follow the rules. Anyhow, our first two groups form the S-block, and over here is our P-block. Most elements on the periodic table are metals and solids at room temperature. But a few of our friends here, like oxygen, nitrogen, and chlorine, are gases at room temperature. Although there are some metals in the P-block, like our friend aluminum, and some metalloids like silicon, most on the right side of this staircase are gases. So, Xenon, tell us more about the octet rule and what it explains about how we bond to form molecules. And why you don't. Sometimes, Ruthenium, you just need to save a few plot twists for the sequel. Now, why don't all of you skedaddle and let me finish my book? Let's go back to the party. Bye, Xenon. Okay, bye. See you later. Bye, Xenon. Bye, Xenon. Bye, Xenon. Okay. Okay. Enjoy your book. Bye. Catch you later. <laughs> so long. So long. <laughs>